Hello, everybody. You've tuned in to the Indiana State Police Roadshow, brought to you by the Indiana State Police Lions, Cops for Kids. I'm your host, Sergeant Rich Myers, with the Indianapolis District PIO. Thank you for joining us today. Today, my guest is a uh, longtime guest, longtime person, Captain Dave Burston is with me. Dave, thanks for being here. I'm glad to be here. I'm a longtime person. I was hoping to hear that I was a longtime friend. Well, so okay, he'll I'll hear take it. What I can get. <laughs> so. Well, thank you for being here. We appreciate you being with us today. Well, thank you, Rick. Drug you off the. Uh, have you been out to State Fair? I have not been out yet. Uh, I mean, uh, the, the opening day having just occurred a couple of days ago. Right. Yeah. I uh, plan to be out there with my family. Uh, probably multiple times. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today is the Indiana State Fair. And we, we want to jump right in because there's a lot of information that we want to put out on uh, on the State Fair and, and maybe some uh, places that you want to go to look it up. Let's talk about that first. I understand there's a brand new app that you can download and have all the information you want. There is, and it's new for this year because it's really it's new compared to last year's. So right. People that aren't familiar yet with the Indiana State Fair app, I don't say this, this is not a push for them, but when they load it up in an app and you think state government, how good is this going to be? <laughs> and uh, I'll probably hear about that comment. Yeah. But, but when you load that app up, you can get it on your uh, iPhone, you can get it on an Android phone. It has all sorts of information. Matter of fact, people that are watching the show today on YouTube, if you're not listening on the radio, uh, I'm holding it in my hand right now and, and I'm just going to go be referring to it. So, just some of the things you hear hear us talking about today. Download that app. It is free. It uh, just takes a couple of seconds, and it has everything on there, including a map of the fairgrounds. It's got the event schedule, all the concert series, talks about what's playing on the free stage, what's on the midway, the hours, tickets and discounts, uh, parking. Uh, it's got a site search and, and how to and frequently asked questions. It, it's just got a plethora of information, and it was very, very well done. And, of course, if you're not uh, a smartphone, or but you have a computer or something, there's still a website you can go oh, to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, and I, I think you've mentioned that to me before, that you've just uh, looked on the, on the website. Right. And, and all the information there you can look at from your computer at home if, if you don't have a smartphone or if you don't like using those kind of things. You can plan your trip in advance, see what you want to do. The scheduling is great to, to be able to see all the different things that are happening and, and make your plan to come out for that particular time. Yeah, and we want to uh, push the, the app and the website to make sure that you look at that and see exactly what's going to be planned that day and and what time you need to be there for your certain event that you want to see but uh, also when you get out there there'll be a uh, uh, regular paper uh, schedules there that'll be available at our information booths and maybe we want to push where those information booths are at in case people uh, need to talk to us yeah we we've got a booth that when, when you're on the north side of the fairgrounds it's kind of up at the northwest portion very close to the gazebo uh then on the opposite side of, of the uh, of the horse track, there's another booth located there. And then, of course, inside, I still want to call it the manufacturer's building. It's right. the, the exposition hall now. And yes. It's probably been that for a number of years, and I'm just stuck. <laughs> I call it both. Yeah, yeah I so call it both. The so. manufacturer's exposition hall. Right. Uh, but the, and that's where the state police has had a presence for a long, long time. So you can talk to a trooper there talk to a motor carrier inspector there, talk to a Capitol Police officer, um, and uh, just interact with them. And if you're curious about where to go, they will tell you. And, you know, it just popped in my mind, probably one of the most important things is to tell everybody everybody where the lost parents location oh is. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Uh, because uh, we do have lost parents. And kids don't get lost. No, the kids don't get lost. Yeah, our parents get lost. Yeah, you know, because the kids get interested in something, <laughs> and it's the parents with the short attention span yeah. that just move on while the kids are enthralled <laughs> with something and continue to watch. So, uh, But that's important, too. And, and it's always a good idea on that note. That if you have small children, um, have something uh, with their identification on them, with your cell phone number, uh, so that when when you, you as a parent become mm -hmm. lost and we have your child because we'll know where your child <laughs> yeah. is, they're going to be with us. Yeah, uh, they can get get in touch with you and re have a have a great happy. Reunion. Reunion. Yes. And generally, at any of those booths, we have tags there that. Uh, with strings on them that you can tie onto them. So when they are uh, found. Yeah. So if you forget to do that, you know, stop by and you can have one made while you're there. Yeah. It'll be the best thing going that day to keep your child safe. But uh, 
also safety wise um we were talking about before the show it's a great place family atmosphere but there are some sinister people there sometimes looking for you not to pay attention to your personal belongings and and waiting for that crime of opportunity the indiana state fairgrounds are no different than if you go to an amusement park or if you, you know, Holiday World or uh, Sandusky, Ohio or Kings Island, or you're going to the mall, uh, you want to make sure that all your personal belongings are secured, that they're out of sight, uh, probably pref preferably in the trunk of your car. If you have an SUV type vehicle uh, that doesn't have a conventional trunk, uh, usually they have storage compartments. Put all of that stuff away. When you're parking and you're putting those things away, Take a time to look around and see if it looks like somebody's watching to see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, because if they see you in your SUV putting all the stuff in the, in the uh, lower compartment, uh, they know what you've done. Yeah. And it's very uh, easy to smash and grab and yeah. bust out that window and insult on injuries to have, the, the, have your property stolen and then have uh, damage to your car as well. So just bring what you need. Yeah. That's really the smartest thing to yeah. do. Bring what you need. Take everything else out of your car. And uh, that's no reflection on the state fair. It's just the, the fact of the matter. There are evil people yeah. that are looking to take advantage of uh, folks just coming out to have a nice day. And another good point to bring up is to pay attention to where you park. I know um, the years that I've won it or worked it, um, we have people actually come to us telling us their car have been stolen only to drive them around in the golf cart in the infield. And find it at a different location than they, they're and on they the northwest recall. corner and they thought they were on the northeast corner. It's amazing how somebody can come in and and pick up uh, a ton and a half vehicle and move it to where you didn't park it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, but but it, people get turned around in there. It's yeah, very yeah, easy. It's easy to do. If you're not uh, familiar with the yeah. state fairgrounds, they get turned around. And so kind of mentally put it in your head where you're at and take a take a picture of it with your phone if you're not, can't bring it up. So we'll know where That's to take you. That's a great you. suggestion. Yeah. Yeah. And so we'll know where to take you whenever you uh, can't find it the next time around. I parked it here. Does this area <laughs> look familiar to you? <laughs> I know the uh, State Fair also has some programs for uh, handicap accessible people that need some help. Uh, the strollers and, and electric wheelchairs are going to be available. Uh, they are going to have those kind of things. Uh, they, they, uh, when, when we look at the wheelchair accessible parking, and, and again, those of you watching on YouTube, this is all on the app yeah and uh I, tom tom's in the background i don't know which camera to hold this in front of but i'm, <laughs> I'm going to hold it in front of this one right here yeah and and you get that app and all that information is here but when we look at uh we've got accessible parking for people with disabilities they can be found inside gate one gate six and gate 16 as well as the infield so those are the places to look if you need uh wheelchair accessible parking you can also uh, pedal and park. You can save a dollar off fare admission when you bike to the state fairgrounds. So you can be healthy getting there. You get there. They've got secured bike racks that you can use. Uh, those are available off the Monon Trail at 38th Street from 9 in the morning until 8 in the evening. And bicyclers can enter through Gate 18 on the Monon Trail. Uh, public Transit, Indigo Transit, they have routes 39 and 4. Uh, they've got stops along 38th Street. Uh, the best place to get that information is on indigo.net to see what their schedules are. Um, and, of course, one of my favorite things to do, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? The train. The train, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the, the train is a great thing to do. Uh, the, the museum fare train, that leaves for a round-trip journey. And i got to tell you the truth. We go to the fair. And we take the train ride up, <laughs> and then we take the train ride back. So uh, it, it's always fun to do. But uh, you, you need to plan to be there 30 minutes prior to departure. Uh, they, they keep a pretty tight schedule, but yeah. you, you never know what right. kind of delays you might run into. Well, they could have a train robbery or something. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know who our suspect will be. So, but, uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, and they're on the app. They have all of the departure times uh, for the train from Fishers. The first one goes out at 8.45 in the evening, uh, excuse me, 8.45 in the morning. And uh, the, uh, the last one uh, leaves 10.15 in the evening from the fairgrounds back up to Fishers. So remember, if you like to do that round trip thing from the fairgrounds up and back, don't take the 10:15 train at night <laughs> because guess what? Because you're going to be stuck in Fishers. So. You're going to be taking the taxi ride back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>
Well, again, you're listening to the Indiana State Police Roadshow brought to you by the Indiana State Police Alliance. I'm your host, Sergeant Rich Myers with Captain Dave Burson. We're talking about the state fair that's going on right now in the at uh, 38th Street and right here in Indianapolis. Uh, one thing we kind of want to push to is have a plan in the event of inclement weather. Um, yes. Know what to do in that if if you do hear on the loudspeaker that inclement weather is coming in, and I think that's even uh, uh, talked about on the on the app and on the website is possibly where to go and how to how to react in that situation. The, the easiest thing to to remind people is that you'll want to go into a a solid structure. So if it's the recently renovated Coliseum. Uh, go to the Coliseum. If you're on the opposite side of the, uh, the Ag Hort building, uh, the Farm Bureau building, uh, any places you can get inside and out of the elements. Uh, a vendor tent is not a safe right. place to be uh, in the event of a storm. Uh, so, so look to go indoors. Uh, state fairgrounds, uh, personnel they're they're very uh, well versed now in giving people advance notice right. if there's any threat of weather uh, and safety is of paramount importance we we of course will be monitoring that along with the indiana state fair uh authorities and so they will i know in times past will actually come into the street and warn you of uh, approaching weather and, yes. and be advising you to get into a strong building and then they'll do that over the public address system yeah and obviously don't stay out on the midway there's nothing out there that you want to no. be underneath of it and the midway folks are very good about yes. it. if they see that they're going to close their eyes down they're going to tell you why it's because of the weather hopefully this will pass um, and if not it's an excuse to come back to the great Indiana State. There you go and get some more taffy. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that I saw on the app, and there's a lot of free programs going on out there. There are. You've got uh, the free stage is going on. Uh, it, it's got things uh, when you when you get on the app, it gives you the whole schedule. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, pick a day in the middle of the week for people that are listening to the program. This is just the schedule uh, for August 12th, this coming Wednesday. Uh, of what you can see, uh, you've got the Happy Together Tour. That's on the free stage. That's at 7:30 in the evening. Uh, some of the something that's happening on Thursday on the free stage. You've got. Uh, Credence Clearwater Revisited. So a lot of uh, people our age like oh, yeah. Yeah. Credence Clearwater Revival. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you go on. CCR. To, yeah. Get uh, to Friday the 14th, uh, Return of the Dukes, John Schneider and Tom Wolpat. Did I pronounce that right? Yeah, that I know Tom Schneider is, is uh, the other one, uh, the other Duke. Uh, Tom Wolpat. So. I guess it shows how much I know <laughs> so, or, or how much I don't. Maybe know. we should go and see. Uh, there, there you go. <laughs> and we get to Saturday. You got a couple of things going on. Four o'clock in the afternoon. You got uh, Emily Kenny from uh, AMC's The Walking Dead is going to be uh, on the free stage. And you also have. Uh, uh, she comes back again. She's there from four to six, and she's back again at seven thirty. I we're touching the proverbial tip of the oh, tip yeah. of the tip of the yeah. iceberg, and it's all here on the State Fair app. And every night, uh, of course, will be uh, what we've been involved in for years is st is the State Fair parade. Yeah, the, the farmers uh, uh, when they bring all their tractors out, that's all always very neat. They do that every night, don't yeah, they? Yeah, every night. Yep, so. and uh, state police will be leading that as they go around the uh, the track or around the outside of the track, so they'll be able to see that every night they come through. And, and if you're a, uh, if you're a fair rookie, they also have uh, they have the wagon that pulls everybody around. Well, the State Fair shuttle. The, that, yeah, that's the appropriate thing. It's yeah. not a wagon because it's a long one. It's like it's a, it's it's like a train tractor. Yeah, so. yeah, and uh, I think it's seventy five cents to ride that now, and you can go all the way around if you get tired of walking. Is it seventy five cents or a dollar? I think it's, is it a dollar now? I think it's a dollar. Uh, it's probably here on the app. I'm, not I'm sure it is. Look for it. Yeah. Uh, and then on Seniors Day, uh, you know, I got very excited when I turned fifty five last year that I could now ride that for a discount. Are on you kidding one, me? One day. Yeah, you get it for fifty cents. So wow. Them. But now I've given away my age. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dave, we're out of time. I appreciate you coming in and talking to State Fair. Make sure you go to that State Fair app and download it or their website. Plenty of information on there, everything you want to know, parking prices, the days you can get in, the times. And there's discounted days. There's actually free yeah. days. Yes, there are. So that you can do that, and it's all on the Indiana State Fair app. Lots again. to see. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in to the Indiana State Police Roadshow brought to you by the Indiana State Police Alliance, Cops for Kids. I appreciate Captain Burston coming in here, talking about the State Fair. Of course, uh, there will be 
state troopers galore out there. So it's kind of a reunion for us. We get to see a lot of people we haven't seen in a long time. Make sure that you are safe out there and know where you're at and have a plan. Again, thanks for listening Roadshow. Roadshow out.